Hello again, whiskey friends. Thanks for joining everybody for another whiskey review. And today, we're going to be going over yet another release from New Riff this year. New Riff has been killing it this year. If you're in the area around New Riff, I really hope you've been enjoying a lot of these releases. And I know a lot of these releases have been extending into other states. You know, Ben was just sending me pictures of the malted sherry rye sitting there on a shelf and he's debating whether to get a backup. So the new riff releases that I do talk about do get out there. So I love warning you about them, especially when they're good. Today's special release is going to be a rye whiskey at cast strength for years, but the mash bill is something unique. So thank you for joining today, whiskey friends. Let's kick off the show. So this is New Riff's High Malt Series. You know, a lot of the times when they use this brand, like, it makes me think they're up to something really good. I feel like they only pull this brand out when they're really confident into something. But this one is just labeled as a Kentucky Straight Whiskey in the big print, but then in the small print, uh, bottled at barrel proof without chill filtration, made with biscuit malt. So. What they did on this one was essentially used a different type of malt. When I was talking to people at New Riff, it kind of comes from their roots as beer distillers and beer makers and bringing some of those aspects into the process of the whiskey to experiment. Oh, gosh, I didn't even pour a little sample here. I just keep talking and talking and talking. So what interests me about this one as we go through the stats it's 109 proof which is pretty typical for new riff but it is not that 95.5 rye mash bill that they use quite a bit because it's got that different biscuit mold in it and then the other thing that was really surprising a this is four years and maybe this is what allowed new riff to keep the price down but they were only charging 49.99 now, this came out as the special release for fall. New Rift does come out with special releases, typically in the spring and then again in the fall each year. Been a really, really good year for their special releases. The Cast Strength 8-Year Malted Rye, as an example, was one that came out in the spring. So let's get into this unique rye. Once again, the year of the rye. And if you do have a chance to get a pour of this one, Try this one at the distillery. Maybe you happen to see it on a shelf as distribution goes out there. Pick this one up. I'm going to warn you now. We'll go through it, and I'll tell you why. Cheers, everybody. Now, now my nose is the favorite aspect of this pour. Gave the nose on this two thumbs up. Reason why, very, very unique for a rye whiskey. First off, the main note is honey, which is interesting for a rye. But then it also has these aspects of raw dough, all these baking spices as well. I had to think about that a little bit. It reminds me of when you pop open a raw dough container of like cinnamon rolls. It's like that type of doughiness, but then all those spices and the sweetness is in there as well. Now, next to all those, you know, I'm leading off with the honey and kind of that raw dough with the cinnamon, but there's a lot of citrus going on on this thing as well. Somewhere between lemon, but then also a blood orange, a blood orange in particular. I've gotten that on New Riff in the past, particularly with the malted rye. Uh, there's also uh, something refreshing in there. I'd almost describe it as a muddled mint. So... Definitely got some rye leaning flavors in there, but then combined with the honey, the cinnamon, the raw dough, and the sweetness going on. Such an interesting nose for a four year rye. So, once again, two thumbs up on the nose. It is my favorite aspect of this pour. Let's get to the palate. Cheers, everybody. Nice creamy mouthfeel. 
you know, nothing, nothing too viscous or coating or anything you're going to chew on. Just nice and creamy. The honey does appear immediately up front. So that is going to continue to be a theme throughout this tasting is going to be that honey note. Um, maltiness also. Up front, even now as I'm getting into it, it's all over the sides of the tongue. Kind of reminds me of a beer. I've been saying that with some recent reviews. People are just experimenting with these different malts. All right, let's go for another sip. Bit of chocolate, nutmeg, getting more of that spice profile. Gosh, honey is still the main event. Honey and the malt. Such a good combination, too. The rye-leaning elements that I mentioned on the nose as far as the citrus, you know, they're, they're there mid-palate, but they really don't all the way escalate until the finish. I think the last note that I want to talk about mid-palate, a uh, little bit of a cakiness, almost like a coffee cake. So I guess you're taking that raw dough that I was saying off the nose and it's transitioning more into a, translating more into a coffee cake on the palate. All right. When it comes to the palate, thumbs up on this one. Just a delightful pour. All right. Let's get into the finish. On the finish, this is when the rye aspects do emerge. Becomes more obviously a rye, which is that rye spice and the muddled mint and the lemon zest. It just becomes more prominent there. But still, next to all that is a layer of darkness, a layer of darkness that you might not be expecting for something that's just four years old. Um, you know, once again, I'm still going to go with kind of that coffee cake, a little bit of coffee or espresso there as well on that finish. And then the lingering elements are mostly baking spices all along the, uh, the back of the tongue right now. All right, one more sip, see if I get anything else. Finish on this one, though, gave it a thumbs up as well. You know, it's nice. It's lingering. Um, no big standout moments. It's just really good through and through. All right. Let's see what we got here. No, I think that's it. Oh, the honey. Honey on the finish. More honey on the finish. Honey, honey, honey. Mm. Love things with honey notes. Been getting more honey notes in the last year as well from distilleries other than MGP on a very regular basis. I wonder if they're going for that. So when it comes to this new riff, uh, biscuit malt rye, I guess is how you would distinguish this one. Man, giving it a good grade, 85 out of 100 on this one. That ranks it as the 22nd bottle of the year out of 85 reviews. And amongst the rye category, uh, ranks fifth out of 21 reviews, specifically on rye. So, standout rye, another great example of why I still think 2024 is unequivocally the year of the rye. Please, everybody, keep experimenting with mash bills using rye as the primary grain. I've been having a lot of fun exploring these. So thank you for joining today, Whiskey Friends. Let me know in the comments if you've had a chance to try this, what you thought of it, and are you now interested in it? And if you've been trying out any other interesting rise lately, hey, let us know in the comments as well. We'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye, everybody.